<laughs> you just made a start week one for the Oklahoma Sooners. How'd that feel? Yes, sir. It felt great to be out there on my team, uh, especially with a lot of help from my quarterback, Dylan. He just made sure he had my back and encouraged me to do out there just do my thing. What were the emotions like, I mean, getting into the end zone twice? Man, it felt great, especially seeing my teammates run on the field, hype up with me, jumping up on my linemen. That's my favorite part about it, is celebrating with my teammates. You said last week your family was going to be watching from home. What was that like, knowing that they were watching you on TV, and what was your react or their reaction after the game? Yeah, so they, they texted me every time I did something. So right after the game, check my phone. It's, they text me literally every time I did something. It was great. What are you looking forward to about you know next week getting getting back out here playing at the stadium again? Next week I wanted to see the same thing from me and my team to go out there get a W and celebrate with each other and have fun. We talked to Coach Levy earlier today, and one of the things that he mentioned is that with how many guys he's got in the backfield that are capable of making plays, very much going to ride the hot hand approach going forward. You kind of feel like after the performance you had in Week One, you got the hot hand right now. Uh, I feel like we all went out there and did our did our thing. Uh, it was kind of a slower game for the run game. That last week, we we're all going to try to pick it up this week, but we're all capable of doing crazy things you guys haven't even seen yet. So it's just, I think we all have a chance. Have, we, we all got a chance of having a high end this week, so you can tell until it happens. What was your opinion of the quarterback play, both from Dylan and from Jackson on Saturday? Uh, they were great, both of them. It wasn't a drop off. Uh, Jackson went in there, did his thing right after Dylan did, and I just, it was great to see both of them do their thing. What's it like running behind that O line? It's amazing. I wish I would have had a chance to get more behind them last year, but I do this year, and they're just doing their thing back there. What does the depth of the running back room look like, and, and how do you guys all sort of handle getting split reps like you guys do, and all that stuff? Um, right now, is the depth is crazy. We have, in my opinion, we have eight guys that can go. So it's it's hard uh, for Demarco. I'm pretty sure to determine who's getting what, but. Uh, we all the family at the end of the day. We're competing for this first spot and the most carries. But at the end of the day, we're still, after I score, all the running backs run to the end zone for me. After Marcus scores, everybody runs to the end zone. Same with anybody, from the young guys to the older guys. How did it feel to get those two touchdowns, you know, week one? How, how did that feel for you? It felt great, especially seeing all the other guys run on the field with me, jump up with me. It just feels great. You ran over a guy from one of those. I mean, well, <laughs> run me through that moment there from, from you. Uh, uh, that's, uh, it was it was amazing. That's that's kind of what my type of style, in my opinion. Uh, it just was a it was a chippy game, so it was it was fun. How do you how do you feel like you performed? I feel like I performed well. Uh, we're gonna everybody's gonna try to make capitalize on mistakes better this week, but I think I performed well. And what do you what do you think as an offense you guys are trying to improve heading into next week? And I mean I know you guys played great, but obviously you know there's always something to improve in if you have it. Uh, probably just our strain, just how fast we're running away from the ball, just keep straining, and keep uh, encouraging our teammates and having our teammates back. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you. What would you say to somebody that's like in your situation, that prefer a walk on, getting a, getting an opportunity like this? What would you say to somebody? Pretty much just trusting yourself and you know go through the motions things like that what would you say to them because you obviously did well with your opportunity and provided pretty much a, a good a good start for ou if you decide to bet on yourself man you got to just go all the way you got to go all the way through with it uh you can't cut yourself short you have to do the extra time you have to uh be humble and accept the failure failure is going to come always going to come there's not going to be no success without failure just keep your head strong have a good circle around you to keep you going